Hi, my name is Stephen Eichstadt. I'm leading HSEC Risk Management at Glencore. 2016 was a very challenging year for us from a safety point of view, and we are absolutely determined to eliminate fatalities from our operations. Part of my role is to visit assets uh, and to see the leading practices and the proactive safety that we are uh, instilling in our business. So over the next couple of months, I'd like to share some of the stories and the experiences I have with you. I'm on site here at Ravensworth Open Cut Coal in Australia, doing one of my uh, site visits, and the first one for 2017. And hopefully we can share some of the learnings we're getting from the site. Brendan, can you tell me about my job, my future, my family? Certainly. Uh, my job, my future, my family is a, a, a program to create a workforce to get them to think about the effect their decisions that they make every day at work is going to have on them their f and their future and also ultimately on their family. Hi, I'm Dave Mellez. I'm, I'm here uh, from the Glencore office uh, it's based in Switzerland. Really pleased to see the, uh, the progress of the Safe Coal program, uh, which is part of the wider Glencore Safe Work program and one of the aspects we've been looking at is the supervisory leadership program uh, that uh, Ravensworth has been conducting over a period of time. So Brendan, maybe could you just give us a, a quick update on, on uh, what activities have occurred in the last 12 months or what you're moving towards as far as the supervisory development pro program and leadership? Here at Ravensworth uh, we've been uh, working through the Safe Coal program and the Safe Coal leadership program for the last couple of years. Uh, in 2016, uh, Ravensworth rolled out the next two modules of the Safe Coal Leadership Program to our frontline supervisors and uh, have been developing up a, a support and mentoring package uh, for those supervisors to help them apply the learnings from the program in their day-to-day uh, -day activities. I've got two young boys and a wife and uh, you just want to make sure you get home to them each day. You know, it's, it'd be horrible to miss out on anything with them, especially if I was injured or, or worse. Now, I suppose you think about that when you go to, if you ever go to make a, a short cut or do something a bit quicker than usual and don't put in all your safety barricades, etc. You know, you think, well, you're really putting it up there to not go home safely or not go home at all.